Yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little bummed. I'm gonna lie to you. I, uh, I don't know if you guys heard about Cecil. Uh, Cecil Wayne. <laughs> a little upset about that. Uh, I'm upset because I didn't find out the way most of you probably found out. I think it's social media, the news. I found out about Cecil the Lion through my best friend. Let me tell you why that's a problem. My best friend doesn't tell me everything. He leaves out information. I don't know if you guys have friends like this. Yeah. Out. I had a whole conversation with this man, didn't know who Cecil was. And he's melodramatic about it. I'm like, oh, what's wrong, man? He's like, you're not gonna believe I'm like, what happened? You ain't gonna believe this when I tell you. Like, All right, then tell me what happened. They got Cecil. I don't know who Cecil is, so I'm just trying to play along. Oh man, they got Cecil. Oh man, they got, they got Cecil. Cecil? Oh man. Don't know who Cecil is. They got Cecil? Yeah, man, they got Cecil. My best friend is also, I don't know if you have a friend like this, he also likes affirmation after every statement. I'm like, uh, t tell me what happened, man. Tell me what happened. Okay, Cecil, right, right. He won't go on until I say right. Cecil, right, right. Cecil, right, right. Yeah, he was like minding his own business, right, right. He was minding his own business, right, right. And then this man just came up and shot him, just shot him. I'm like, oh man, you know, I'm thinking Ferguson. I'm like, man, he shot another one. Shot another one. I'm like trying to think. I'm like, okay, was he suspicious looking? Was Cecil suspicious looking? Was he wearing a hoodie? Was he wearing a hoodie? No, man, Cecil wasn't wearing no hoodie. I'm like, okay, did he have cigarettes? Because they'll, they'll stop you for cigarettes now. They'll stop you for cigarettes. Well, no, nah, Cecil didn't have cigarettes. And I'm like, okay, uh, where did this happen? Where did this happen? He's like, Zimbabwe. I'm like, okay, so what? You know, I get death is tragic, but. Why are people freaking out about some dude who died in Zimbabwe? He's like, like I'm stupid. Uh, Cecil's not a dude. <laughs> like, who is Cecil? What is Cecil? <laughs> Cecil's a lion. It's like, time out. <laughs> people are upset that a lion died in Africa. You know that song, Lion King? Circle of Life. <laughs> I'm like, you know, like he tells me everything. He's like, nobody was supposed to shoot him in some preservation park. The guy lured him out. And I'm like, wow. He's like, yeah, like uh, uh, Delta Airlines, they're like banning animal kills on the planes. I'm like, I didn't even know they allowed moose heads. Then he's like, uh, Congress, right now Congress is passing something called the Cecil Act. So this never happens again. I'm like, wow. Then he tells me that there's a beanie baby named Cecil the Lion. You can get a plush beanie baby named Cecil if it has affected your life so. <laughs> so after hearing all of this, I said, you know what? The next time I see like an excessively violent police shooting, I'm not calling the cops. I'm calling the media. Hello, uh, there has been a shooting. Yes, I would like to report a lion being shot in 17th and Spring Street. Yeah. I'd like to see the media person getting all excited. A lion got shot, this is great. This is going to be great. Spring is going to go through the roof. Okay, uh, does the lion have a name? What's the lion's name? Um, Cecil. Cecil. Cecil? Oh, we got another Cecil. Thank God. Thank God. Then I figured I might have an acute attack of conscience. But like, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to lie to this man. Tell him, uh, uh, yeah, um, there was a guy who did get shot though. He, yeah, uh, that's the real reason why I'm calling. Um, can, can you make that a part of the story? And I can see the media person going, sure would be nice to get that lion story though. <laughs> they got to tell the guy who got shot. Hey, if they come up, tell them your name is Cecil. <laughs> One thing I am excited about is this new reality show. Uh, like you guys probably you've seen it, like the highlights. I know that's how I found out about it. And my best friend told me, um, like I, you have to check your local listings for the show. But the premise of it, you're gonna love this. Donald Trump is trying to run for president. It's hilarious. <laughs> Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, I was just telling him about the show um, that Donald Trump is running for president. You, you didn't tell me about. It's not. It's not a show. <laughs> oh, he's doing that. He's really doing it. People are letting him. I, I gotta go, man. Yeah, I'm in the middle of a set. Yeah, you could have told me. Right. You just don't let me look stupid. Right. Yeah, apparently uh, Donald Trump is really running for president. Uh, I, I guess what made it unbelievable for me was the way he announced it. Like usually when you want to announce something, you want to do it in a grandiose way. 
I think of Dr. King, you know, the I Have a Dream speech. Went to Washington, D.C., stood in front of the Lincoln Monument. You know, the guy did the Emancipation Proclamation. Barack Obama announces his presidency, goes to the old capital, uh, Chicago, Illinois, where Lincoln announced his presidency. Jeb Bush announces his presidency in Florida, where he was governor, outside the campus of uh, Miami Dade. Why was Donald Trump on the escalator? <laughs> when I saw him, just. <laughs> Is he about to announce his presidency at a super target? Like, I, when, I said, when, when I saw him, it was a sign by him that said everyday low prices. That's why I said that. That's why I said that. I, I, I was confused. And then, it, like, he went off on Mexico. <laughs> He's like, uh, Mexicans, they, they keep bringing the illegal immigrants. And I agree, we got to do something about illegal immigration. That's why I think if Donald Trump becomes president, the first thing that should be deported is that thing on top of his head. I'm sure it doesn't have his papers. I'm sure it's undocumented. Set an example, Donald, that's all I ask. Set an example. Then he said they keep bringing over criminals and rapists. Criminals, that was his speech. He said they keep bringing over criminals and rapists, and we need to do something about it because apparently Bill Cosby doesn't need the competition. <laughs> And it is broke my heart. Bill Cosby's like an idol to me. But I, I feel like it was my fault though. I feel like it was like, like I saw signs, like that one Cosby episode. You may have seen this episode. He was trying to help Theo. He was on the phone trying to help him on a date. He was like, no! Nah. Theo, I know you're going on the date with Justine, Justine. Theo. I'm going to help you out here. First of all, I want you to get the flowers that I told you to get. For the day. Now, tell me what she says. Okay, she loves the flowers, it's good. Now I want you to get the chocolates. Yes, go in to get the chocolates for the day. She loves the chocolates, okay. Now, here's what I want you to do. Now I want you to ask her to go out with you and see what she says. She said no. Now this was the part where I should have known something was up. <laughs> no, Theo, the day is not over. We are Huxtables. The day is not over. I want you to go to the CVS pharmacy. Listen very carefully. Ask for Quaaludes. If they don't have any, ask for Lunesta. <laughs> I guess if, 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 for those of you... Okay. Those of you who say, you know, Donald should run and everything, you know, it, it, it's so, so many people. Like, you know, speaking of Bill Cosby, the only number bigger than the number of women accused of Bill Cosby is the number of Republican candidates. Yes. Where did these people come from? Yes. And I was wondering they didn't have enough podiums, you know, Fox News managed to hold it down. But I know a lot of you say, you know, it's a good idea. It's great for me, you know, as a comedian, Donald Trump running. But I will forewarn you. Donald Trump running for president is kind of like getting an email from Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Sounds good, in theory. But the next thing you know, you're being chased down by a drug lord named El Chapo with a Twitter account. <laughs> do it, do it. Sounds good, though. Now, speaking of Hillary, I know everybody's wondering what's on the emails. What's the, on the emails? She had a private server. It's not hard to think about, people. Who's she married to? Think about it. All the emails are... Bill, when are you coming home? Bill, you said you'd be here. Bill, what happened to your ankle brace of money? I told you to keep it on, Bill. And it's just Bill responding back. I am coming. I, I told you I'd be there. I, 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 I don't know how to shape secrets to my skin. I don't like that. I did, I did get an email from Hillary Clinton. I did. Uh, it was this blue or black dress thing. She was like, uh, trying to decide if she was going to run or not. She was like, uh, do you think the dress is blue or black or white or gold? You had a picture of the dress and then I just said, if you answer right, you get to see if Hillary's running. So my mind, I wasn't thinking about, you know, pop culture. I was just like, Monica Lewinsky. I was like, I know this one. Uh, the dress is blue and anything else on the dress, you should ask your husband. I'm going to get your personal business. I'm going to get your personal business. And I'm sure, you know, Bill is probably trying to help. You know, he knows a lot about scandals. But I feel like Bill's probably using like late 90s tactics to help her out. He's like, okay, Hillary, I'm going to ask you about this email scandal. I want you to hold a press conference. I want you to look that camera right in the face and say, I did not have sexual relations with my email account. <laughs> I may have pushed send, but I did not push delete. I may have sent it to my junk mail, but I did not share it. But I did not share it. <laughs> I think the same side of that, the flip side of that, is Jeb Bush is probably getting help 
from George W. Bush. Like, he's a smart one, though. Like, I get a feeling he probably doesn't need his help. <laughs> Just George W. giving him, like, little, little uh, advice. Like, okay, first of all, uh, you want to tell American people, you want to do a speech like this, say, uh, I care about American people. When America's hurt, I'm hurt. When America cries, I cry. When America farts, I smell <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I guess if Donald does run, if he does run, I think he should do like his Celebrity Apprentice show. You know, have like a whole bunch of somewhat famous people trying out for the show. Like, I think Al Pacino would be good. He'd be like, he might be hard to convince, though. Al Pacino might be hard to convince. Donald would be like, okay, Mr. Pacino, what do you want to do if you're, if you're my DP? I don't know. I don't know about that. I think a lot of people think they're stupid. So do I. So do I. I see Trump, Trump getting a little pissed off. He's like, okay, you know what? You're being out of order. Oh, I'm out of order. I'm out of order. No, you're out of order. This whole place is out of order. I figure, you know, Dave Chappelle might be good. You know, he's on the comeback. Let Dave Chappelle, he can use the publicity. I can see him now. Like, I'm Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle show. And I need these guys because I'm broke, 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 broke. Okay, Dave Chappelle, what would you do if you were the VP? First thing I would do is free the Negroes, teach them how to read and write. We'll call you, Dave. We'll call you. Somebody else who might be good might be Kevin Hart. I think Kevin would be good. Black. Boom. Okay, come in, come in now. Um, told my fiance, I told my fiance, I was the president, vice president. She was like, Kevin, no, Kevin, no, 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 First of all, uh, I don't know if I want a personal life out there. Because uh, the most embarrassing thing, I'm not going to lie to you, the most embarrassing thing about me is that I do know myself in the sixth grade. I'm not going to lie to you. Be a man. Be a man about it. Be a man. Be a man. Be a man. You say, dude, 